Billy, you got to be on stage with Bowie singing uh, all the young dudes. And it was terrifying. We did sound check as you do. And I thought it was weird because he had me kind of about five feet behind him. So I thought it was a bit of a diss. You know what I mean? So I didn't understand that. So then I come out for the show and it's about halfway through the show and he's all warmed up and he's sweating. And I get all the young dudes. And he's doing that thing. Like his voice is warmed up and it's that voice. And it it was mind blowing because to hear him sing for real standing next to him. And for years, I didn't understand why he kind of put me behind him. Like it was almost like a, like I'm the little kid with him. And I realized it was because I was so much taller. <laughs> oh. He hadn't done it to diss me. He wanted, he wanted us like to look I the same say, height. You never know what's yeah, going I mean? the gears. I, I, I yeah, convinced imagine myself he's that David I was Bowie. Being... Imagine he's David Bowie and he gives a shit about that at that point. You know? No, but David was all about optics. So it, now it makes total sense that he would be concerned that we look the same height on, t- on camera because he was very visual. But yeah, he was always great to me. I, I, I was, I'm so blessed to have known him. Man, this guy was such a fucking genius. The, the thing about David that I think he's so special to people from the alternative music side is he could have been Frank Sinatra. He could have been like one of those guys, but he chose to just be a weirdo like us. Yes. You know, he's, he's like our Frank Sinatra. You know what I mean? He's like our weirdo. But Perry, you pissed off, Bowie. Do you know this story, Billy? I do not know. I, I'm shocked, but I want to hear it. Well, it was, per- it was not like I was talking to him and i said something wrong so what happened was back in the day when cell phones were just starting to happen i had this blackberry do you remember the blackberry i just stopped using a blackberry a year ago so i'm with you (laughs) so i left my blackberry in a cab on the way to the airport and the cab driver took it and went through it and saw david bowie's name so we called him up (laughs) yo david yes uh it's me he's like oh the guy kept calling him and i Uh, i had to finally say listen man it wasn't me i'm really sorry that this guy's bothering you but i left my phone in the cab uh, so he forgave me right but then again this was also at the same time the, the beginning of the internet so i didn't know what a cc a blind cc copy was sending text on an email, and, on an email. So. These people, they, they reached out to me to see if I would help them save this lake. Right. And I got really excited about it. And I go, you know, I got all altruistic and I'm going to help the world here. And I thought, and I'm going to see if David wants to do this too. So I send him this thing and I go, David, you've got to help me save the fish in Ontario, you know? But what I didn't realize was there was 300 people along oh, no. the chain. Oh, mm. no. So again, all these people oh start hitting God. him up. And again, he said, Perry, what are you doing? I said, well, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Aye, so Perry, that was it. That was, that was the, that end. was almost it, but it actually wasn't just before he died. They had a show that they put together. He put it together with Tony Visconti, the you know the great producer yep. of heroes. And he wanted me to do it. So I was thinking like, oh man, I'm going to make up with David. This is great. I can't wait. Two weeks before the show, he died. Mm. So I oh. never got a chance to like, hey man, I, we, we did it. You know, I didn't screw oh, up. That yeah. sucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Billy. Can you imagine poor Perry with David Bowie? Cause I'm sure he was your. I was in love with him. 